Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss the hardware on SMRT units. Let's get started. This is the full lineup of the SMRT family of relay testing products by Megger. It spans from single-phase products like the SMRT-1 to powerful multi-phase units like the SMRT-410. This is the SMRT-1. This is a single-phase unit with two channels, which can be used as a one voltage and one current source like this, or as a two current source as shown here. These units can be daisy chained together to produce multi-phase systems like the three-phase one shown here. This is the SMRT-1R or rack mount version of the SMRT-1. It can be mounted on a 19 inch rack and it is ideal for permanent installations and laboratory environments. It can also be daisy chained together or with multi-phase units to provide multi-phase systems like the one shown here. The SMRT-1R also has two BNC inputs in the back which allow to be used as a signal amplifier while controlled by a computer. Now let's talk about the multi-phase systems. This is an SMRT-43, which has four voltage channels and three current channels. The SMRT-46 shown here has four voltage channels and three current channels. Three of the voltage channels can be converted to current channels to provide up to six current channels to test protections like a three-phase differential. The SMRT410 has four voltage channels and six current channels. All four voltage channels can be converted into current channels to provide up to 10 current channels. All of these units can be controlled via an STBI or a PC. In particular, to connect an SMRT1 to an STVI, a power over Ethernet adapter is required. Multi-phase units can also be daisy chained together or with single phase units to obtain an even greater number of channels. Display units have the same number of current and voltage channels as their non-display counterparts inside a metallic enclosure and can be fully controlled using RTMS via the embedded touchscreen or with an external PC. Now let's talk about some common hardware features. Each unit has its own power input, power switch, and the safety ground connection. Each unit has several bygens, which stands for voltage and current generator. On this, the red channels are voltage channels with a maximum voltage output of 300 volts and 150 VA as shown in the red power curve below. Several voltage channels can be connected in series to provide a higher voltage and power output as shown on the green power curve. These voltage channels can be configured and used as current channels. They will have a maximum continuous output capability of 5 amps and an absolute maximum current of 15 amps for up to 90 cycles. The yellow channels are current only channels with a maximum continuous current output of 32 amps and an absolute maximum current output of 60 amps per channel. The power curve for the individual channels is shown in red, while the green curve shows the three channels used in parallel. These units can be provided with ungrounded floating returns as shown here, or with grounded common returns as shown here. For units with floating returns, the neutrals need to be tied up externally for which proper test leads are provided with the unit. Summarizing, here we have three current only channels and three voltage convertible channels. A fourth voltage channel is provided which in some units doubles as a battery simulator. This channel provides up to 250 volts DC when used as a DC source, as shown here, and up to 150 volts AC when used as a voltage channel. 
the index number on the Vigen corresponds with the channel number on the RTMS software as shown here. An optional Bluetooth adapter is provided with the units to allow for wireless control using a PC. Several Ethernet ports are provided for communications, control and firmware upgrade of the unit. For non-display units, the port marked STVI should be used to connect an STVI since this port provides power to the STVI over the Ethernet connection. Units also have Ethernet connection for a PC and for testing on IEC 61850 systems. A USB type B port connection to PC is also provided for control of the unit. These USB type A ports can be used for saving test reports, test results and templates as well as for firmware upgrades. A control knob is provided which can be used to ramp values up and down as well as for navigating through different options on the screen. Each unit has one or more binary inputs with a voltage rating of 0 to 300 volts AC or DC, up to four 8 amp binary outputs and two 1 high-speed 1 amp binary outputs are provided as well. Optional transducer inputs can be provided. These inputs can be used to test different types of voltage and current transducers using the appropriate forms in PowerDB. This concludes the discussion on the hardware of SMRT units. Visit the Maker YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.